Hello and welcome back everybody. Today we talk about mods and skins in DCS. The knowledge and the amount of skills in the DCS community are fabulous and unbelievable. But somebody like me, glad to know where to turn on and off my computer, strictly follows rules. Especially rule number one. Never change a running system. And never ever do this deliberately. But there is always an exemption triggered by the delay of DCS version 2.5, which will be now released someday in 2017, it may be worth to think about mods, especially when you are a helicopter pilot. It's not only the new Caucasus map, there are also a strong possibility for new cargo to be transported at the hook by the UH-1 or the Mi-8. Some signs pointing the integration of the Umbatu cargo mod we talk about in this video and maybe helipads and others as well. Of course, this may be happened in 1.5 or 2.0 on some Friday together with other improvements with the next update. But because we don't know and you are a helicopter pilot with a lack of patience, you may try a mod or a new skin for your aircraft. Let's start with skins and new colors. At this picture the red bull skin created by Upatu. First question, where can we find one? First to us may be the DCS website. Under Downloads, User Files, you find the filter menu. We are looking for a skin. Still looking? <laughs> okay, here it is. The actual version is 1.5. No need for choosing a language, the unit will be UH1 and that's it. Press filter and here we go. You get all the available skins below. There are not that many anymore, but it seems to me because there are many skins already available in 1.5 or 2.0, especially the Vietnam skins are already part of the release versions. Another source is the DCS forum. Under mods and apps, DCS apps, you find not only mods but also skins as well. That's where you find the Upuatu thread as well, not only with mods but also with a lot of different skins for the UH-1 and other aircrafts. If you have the skin downloaded and already unzipped if necessary, we need to copy the folder into the DCS installation file. We went to hard drive C, programs, Eagle Dynamics. I already had three versions installed, so I have to choose the right one, in this case version 1.5. Then we choose the folder Bazaar. And as next, Libraries. In the Libraries folder you find all the aircraft present in DCS, so we have to look for the UH-1 folder. In this case, at the end of the list. Open the folder to insert your folder with the new skin. In case of the Red Bull skin, I have already done this before, so here it is. That's all and it's very simple and nothing much that we can do wrong. In DCS, we open the mission editor and the mission in which we may use the Red Bull skin. Choosing an aircraft, of course a UH-1, and open the weapons page. In the lower right corner, we find the outside view with the actual Army Standard skin. Open the drop down menu and searching for the Red Bull skin, in this case at the end of the list. So here it is. You see the change instantly in the preview. Back to the main menu, save changes, and start the mission. Let's go. Press F2 for the outside camera view. As I said, it's easy and should be no problem. But anyway, before you change something, even when it's a tiny little thing, ensure you have made a backup of your system first. When it comes to the installation of a mod, it's more difficult and more likely that something goes wrong. So why should I take the risk of crashing my system? To answer this question, I will show you two short videos. The first one will show up Ubatu's cargo mod. 
And by the way, the UH-1 army skin is already part of the release version of DCS. This is the well-known cargo from DCS, but let's go over to the cooler stuff. All of these may be integrated in DCS right now. Which and how many, nobody knows. Of course, I hope it will be the complete list. And of course, other things like helipads, bunkers, vehicles and so on as well. It's written in the stars, but maybe some of them will be released with the next 1.5 or 2.0 update on some Friday, maybe this week, who knows. There are some indications for it in the forum, because one of the users reading a Lua file instead of newspapers already discovers codes related to new cargo, but it's not active right now. Pallets with shells, containers, even a stretcher with and without wounded for medivac on the hook is on the list. Great stuff, Ubatu. Can't say enough thank you for creating this. In this part, you see the Caucasus map with the original textures from Eagle Dynamics in the lower left and the textures of the Star Race Caucasus mod in the upper right corner. The difference is obvious. With the release of 2.5 and the new Caucasus map from Eagle Dynamics, which will be released simultaneously, there will be no reason for installing this mod as well. But we all know 2.5 is now expected someday in 2017. And friends, there are still only 365 days available in 2017 as well. Which may be not enough to finish 2.5 before suddenly 2018 appears. With the assistance of one out of two programs I introduce in the next couple of minutes, it was even possible for me to handle that safely. So, 95% or even more of you will be able to do the same. Brand new, but the right way to work with in the future is a program called OVGME. GME stands for Generic Mod Enabler. The program administrates all the mods we may use in different applications. It's new and still work in progress but it will be further developed and you get contact with the developer over the DCS forum. Unfortunately, I face difficulties when trying to download the EXE file because my Windows 10 denied it for safety reasons several times. At the end, I got it installed but without the promised help files. In this example, we use the older one called GSGME of which OVGME based on. Not easy to find it in the internet and take care. On many download sites you may get a virus for free. The developer chain software no longer exists, but there are very good descriptions on the DCS forum available and the installation instructions of many mods referring to the GSGME. Before starting the in installation, we have to go to the installation file of our DCS version. We like to install the mod. In this case, it will be version 2.0 alpha. We create a new folder for our mods. I call it underlined mods in capital letters because the folder mods already exists in DCS and we don't want to get confused. As next, we copy the installation exe of GSGME into the main folder of DCS and double click it for installation startup. We went through the installation and when it's finished, there will be a few more files available.
starting GSGME the first time, it will ask for the file uh, or the folder in which we store all our mods for this version of the game. It's the new file we previously created, so we have to correct the standard entry to underlined mods. Within the program we find under task, generate snapshot of game files, which we will do first. So there will be a backup of the original directory structure of DCS before executing any changes. If everything works fine, I copy the mod files I like to use into the underlined mods folder. I prefer to do this in the Windows Explorer, but you can also choose the import function of the mod enabler. In most cases, all work is done and you may activate or deactivate your mods in the mod enabler before starting DCS. In some cases, there is more work to do. In case of the cargo mod, you have to change a config file, or if it not already exists, create a new one. With the mod file, you get a sample config file as well. So you may copy this example into the user directory folder. Your username, in my case Mir, for any reason ever. Open the config folder and insert the copy if the file not already exists. So I went to the storage folder, make a copy, back to the user file, user folder, insert it and voila, here it is. The last step will be to open the file in a text editor like WordPad and correct the path from the example DCS World Open Beta to DCS Open Alpha. That's uh, the DCS version I uh, would like to use the, the mod and the cargo mod. Save it and that's it. At this point, a short review into the DCS forum, looking for the place we will find mods and skills. Scroll down to the subforum Mods and Apps and choosing DCS Mods. And here we are. Already in the upper third, you find the add on TENS Watchtower UH1 cargo thread by Upatu. Very well explained with pictures, links to the download folders. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Upadu provides us as well with a lot of UH1 skins by following one of the download links to his Dropbox. Many parts are out of the Vietnam War period, which fits perfect with another stairways mod, providing Vietnam textures to the Caucasus map.
A hospital I miss so much looks awesome, especially when you're approaching it at night. Many, many great stuff. So you don't want to wait for this screen and DCS 2.5, you are at the right place. If you have any questions or comments to the video or any proposals, please let me know in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, I will appreciate if you do so right now. Thank you for watching and see you next time.